of the tape for this welterweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 3 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Ryan LaCroix! All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready? You ready? And here we go. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles. And it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Side leg kick lands there. All right, the first round is underway here. You gotta watch out for this fighter's powerful overhand punches can do damage from both sides. And even when fighters know what's coming, oftentimes they are unable to stop. Oh, nice technique to land that kick. Right hand upstairs. The New Yorker with Flair gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Caught him with a punch. There's the kick. It's blocked. These guys are swinging. Well, he gets cracked in the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's almost moving into the strike at this point in time. You've got to get that oh, on. On. He's in big trouble. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? that submission. Yeah, Joe, we could barely get the fight clock sponsor out, and the submission comes here in round one. He said he didn't want to waste a lot of time. He knew his opponent would know what was coming. It was going to be takedown attempts in bunches, but he couldn't stop the early shot, and, and he certainly couldn't stop the submission. So great effort and even better technique here tonight. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 52 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best performance inside the octagon.